Hello. I want to tell you about Anthony McClellan. Anthony McClellan, extensive criminal record. Um, when he was younger, he got a 16-year-old girlfriend pregnant, just bailed like had nothing to do with her life or um, his, his child's life, and he just went ahead and, and did his thing. Now, you're familiar with him indirectly. You're not familiar with him directly, but you know of something you know of something he was involved in, and I'm going to tell you what it is. Anthony McClellan is LeBron James' father. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. I'm your host, Aaron Comey, and the reason why I'm bringing up Anthony McClellan is to give you just... So there's been a lot of critique of LeBron James lately. He made some statements regarding the Micaiah Bryant case. And I get people upset. Um, I get LeBron is upset. But like, and this is directed at conservatives, you know. Um, particularly, there's a lot of white conservatives that feel some type of way about LeBron James. And I'm trying to figure out why. Uh, because you've got people who are, I mean, he, he said some things that you would, people disagree with. But now just because an individual says something you disagree with, doesn't mean you have to paint them and their entire life, all their accomplishments as being useless as, and paint them as being um, like a bad person. It's like, I'm, at one point, at what point do you say, okay, I disagree with what you said, but I can acknowledge X, Y, Z, many other things you've done that make me admire you and that make you somebody that, you know, um, has accomplished a lot and, and, and I can acknowledge. So now, um, like I said, this is to conservatives. And first and foremost, um, I would like you just yeah, give, give me a thumbs up uh, because what I'm trying to do with this series, with, with, with this um, show, is get people to get outside of our echo chambers and be able to communicate with people who don't necessarily agree with everything we, 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 we believe. Uh, so if people have different uh, political beliefs, different religious beliefs, like there's not a reason why we should be uh, um, forming these like tribes and getting ready to go to war with each other. It, it's not making a lot of sense and it's not going to be beneficial in the long run for any of us. Uh, so if, if, if that sounds like a, like an admirable goal, like something like you're interested in, please give me a thumbs up, uh, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button because I will be going live throughout the week and I welcome people who agree with me, who disagree with me, to to jump on the jump on the stream and let me know if if you want to challenge me is something I said like if you want to challenge what I'm talking about today, because I look at LeBron James as somebody who should inspire, like not just youth, should just inspire people. Period. So I told you about his dad, Anthony McClellan, deadbeat, um, extensive criminal record. His girlfriend gets pregnant. He's just like he is like it doesn't even register. He just keeps going on with his life, doing whatever he's doing. LeBron James' mother is sixteen year old, sixteen years old when she gets gives birth to him. She has to raise this young man by herself. Do you know what? Just take a look at where LeBron James is right now. Right now, LeBron James is thirty six years old and has earned over one billion dollars. Over one billion dollars he's earned, born to a sixteen-year-old mother who raised him by herself. Like, if if you're looking at people today who are struggling, um, you've got single mothers, you've got you've got uh, 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 two-parent homes whose kids are struggling trying to get it together. Uh, the two-parent homes who are struggling to, to to make ends meet, to provide decent lives for their children, and then you have a story. Like if, if you want to root for somebody, if you want an underdog story, if you want something that could just like make you feel good, this is that story. This is one of those stories. But yet that's not the story you're telling when you talk about LeBron James. And I'm looking at you conservatives because this is supposed to be your wheelhouse. Family values, perseverance, um, education, the American dream. The, of 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 working even when the odds are against you of achieving 
what what like just what so many w w would never believe is possible. Like this is the, LeBron James is one of these stories. And yet for at least 2 weeks all you want to do is talk about these cops that are making fun of him um on TikTok or or whatever social media they're making fun of him. Listen, I saw the one, I saw the video with the cop on the phone um you know talking about uh, uh LeBron, what should I do? He's got a knife. You know, okay, it was a music. Um then as I as uh I forget I forgot what the other one was. But you have those cops um who had, you know, mildly amusing, but do you know which incident really stuck with me? The cop in LA who said, LeBron, I would like to sit down with you and talk. I would like to sit down. And I, I posted this in conservative groups and the thing, oh, he, he won't take it. Oh, he, I uh, ignore him. He doesn't, like, are y'all like, trying to, do y'all want a better world? Do you want a united country? Do you want a united world? Do you want people to be able to to be happy and, and 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 to see the good in each other? Like, is that what you want? Or do you just want to keep owning the libs? Do you want to just keep berating anybody who doesn't agree with everything you believe and, and agree in? Do you, you just want to just, oh, anybody that doesn't have your beliefs, they're stupid, they don't matter, and you're going to, you're not going to show them any type of respect. Like, come on, that doesn't make sense. And that's not good for any of us because if the other side is doing the same thing to you do you appreciate that or would you like for people to stop to treat you like an individual to treat you with respect to treat you with decency even if they disagree with your political views who you support for president for for any level of government what your religion is like the ability for people for rational people to sit down and just look at each other and say, okay, we have different beliefs, but I see what you've done here and I appreciate that. I like that. Like, especially if right now we're talking about there's this big argument, you know, capitalism, socialism, and there's people like, oh, there's no way, you know, if, if you're in certain circumstances, you can't succeed. And LeBron James is an example of, yes, there are paths to success. This kid worked his butt off. He works his butt off to be the best. I mean, that's an inspiration. LeBron James is a family man. So, like he who had a, a, a deadbeat dad who just disappeared, impregnated his mother and, and gone. He is married, has three children. He decided he was going to be a father to his children. Do you respect conservatives? Do you respect that? Like, come on, respect that. You don't have to agree with everything he does. You don't have to agree with whom, whom he supports politically. But if you can acknowledge the things that he's done, that the, the, the values that y'all have in common, like that just goes so, that, that goes light years to building bridges. Because I want to see him sit down with that cop. I want him, uh, and, and, and that cop to sit down and to talk, to see each other's perspectives, to understand where each other is coming from. Because we can all use that. Right now, we're at a place where we're just dis we're being so utterly dismissive and so so cavalier about just hating other people because oh they they don't they don't agree with what I what I what I believe. They, they don't vote for who I vote for. They don't support the candidate I support. Like people, we got to be smarter than that. We have got to be smarter than that. And it doesn't just go for LeBron James because there's been people in the conservative circles who've been hating on another person. Cardi B, born in New York, Washington, Washington Heights, raised, who at one point like financially in, 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 in a really bad uh, situation, in an abusive relationship. And I know people say, oh, well, she, she, she dances like a stripper. She does that. Well, she actually was a stripper. And you say, oh, see, see. And then let's go back. And now I'm not bringing up Melania Trump to malign her or to uh, diminish her. I'm bringing up to say Melania Trump is how old? 
Now, how old is Cardi B? They say, oh, well, Melania evolved. Okay, Cardi B is 28 years old. Right now, she, she, she was a stripper. She's a, she, she's a multimillionaire now. She's a musician. She is a mother. She is a wife. How about giving her a chance to evolve? How about giving her a chance to evolve before condemning her? How about giving her some time to mature, to grow as a, as a woman? She's already, she's already done so much more than people would, would have imagined for where she came from. Like, how about showing some respect? Now, you may say you want respect. Cool, I get it. It's a reciprocal thing. Give people who, did, who, who, who don't, okay, so she was supporting Bernie. Okay, so she supported Biden. Okay. It, are the things she's done, is doing, that you could look at and say, wow, okay, that's impressive. Because I, I've watched some of your thought leaders just criticize her and, 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 and just, just talk so negatively about her. Oh, nobody would want their daughter to be, nobody would want their daughter to be married with a child worth millions of dollars and famous, have a successful career and just be admired by millions. Nobody would want that. Like stop lying to yourselves and stop lying to us because that's clearly a lie. You don't like her for personal reasons. You don't like her because she's been had she had a public feud with one of your closest friends. Okay. Don't lie. Don't just make stuff up. There's things you can point to to say, you know what? Wow. Another American success story. That, that's what you that's one of the things you believe in, the American dream. So how do you have these American success stories, but you don't want to tell these stories? You want to tell some other story. Because you want to just, you want to dunk on people. You want to embarrass people. You want to make people look stupid. How about saying, you know what? She was a stripper. Now she's a musician. And you can say, oh, but I don't like her music. I don't like the things, you know, she, she, she raps about. Okay. She's a musician, not a pastor. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Because people had plenty of stuff to say about Trump. And, and the response was, we voted for a president, not a pastor. So remember that. I mean, because we're talking about people that are living lives that you can point to and say, see, you've got a, a, a young man who's, who, who's raised by a single mother, deadbeat dad, but he, he said no. I'm not going down the same road. He worked his butt off. Now he's one of the most famous people in the world. He's successful, married, three children, family man. You've got Cardi B. She, she, she was in a gang when she was younger. Went ahead, started stripping, used money from that to go to school. Education. Like, but if you never stop, if you never get past the, the, the pettiness, you'll never get, you'll never be able to see the layers of, of the people that you're, that you're just hating and that you're showing hatred and contempt for. Like stop and take, wow, I didn't know that about her. And yeah, and, and you won't know that unless you just stop and just actually start looking at what they've been through and where they've gotten, what they've achieved. And the thing about LeBron James, Aside from what he's done in his professional life, aside what he's done in his personal life, look at what he's doing with his money. He's opened a school, the I Promise School. It's going to be a, a fully functional uh, by 2022, first to eighth grade. He's giving back to his community. Don't you think that's something to celebrate? Don't you think that you can say, if you acknowledge that, like let, let's say conservative and and Granted, conservative, you know, the, 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 the base, all of those people who are just, you know, watching, y'all can still put out this type of energy and y'all can demand this type of energy from the, the, the thought leaders or the, the famous conservatives. Y'all can say, hey, 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 cut that out. This person's done this, this, this. How about highlighting that? How about building a bridge? How about showing some respect to this person? 
and extending an olive branch. Maybe they won't take it. But you're not doing it just for a reward. You're doing it because you genuinely appreciate certain things about people. Because you genuinely because you genuinely care about people. If you genuinely care about people, do you? Because it's time to stop. It's time to stop with the stupidness, the pettiness, the owning the libs, the just criticizing people just because they have different political beliefs and say, hey, where can we find common ground? If you like what I've said, if you, if, if you see that as a possibility, give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And subscribe if you want to see a world where we're not just, just trapped in these little bubbles and pretending that anybody who's not in our bubble with us is an evil person that's not worthy of living. If you believe that, that's, you know, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be talking more about that. That's what I talk about. This is the kind of world I'm trying to build where we can, where we can build bridges, where we can work with one another and improve ourselves, help, help brighten up each other's days and each other's lives because things are getting hectic out there and the effects like I said, are not good for any of us. If you disagree and say, I don't, I don't care anything you said. If, if, if you're not, if you didn't vote for Trump, you're an idiot. And, and I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be around you. And I'm giving you a thumbs down. If that's what you feel, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, I want you to write in the comment section why you give me a thumbs down. Don't just give me a thumbs down and run away. Stand, be, be man or woman enough to, to, to stand behind your convictions. And if you do that, then here's what I need you to do. Give me the thumbs down, write it, and I will respond either in your comments, either in the comments section or in a uh, future video. Thank you for checking out this episode. I'll see you next time.